hey everyone welcome back to my channel in this particular video we will see the practical implementation of multi-agent chatbot using land graph so before diving into the code let me show you how it works so here is the ui uh, a little description about the project and main packages used in this particular project so let me show you let me first click on this chat icon which is our chatbot section so let me type hi here and see what we are getting so here if you see uh, this particular chatbot we are using two tools the one is uh, wikipedia another one is python repl uh, package so let me ask something about what is ai agents so basically it will be going to search in the wikipedia and whatever the relevant information it will get it will be going to respond you with that particular thing if you see we are getting a uh, response to that particular question what we have asked so let me ask something related to some calculation stuffs and let me send it down now you can see uh, based on the question what we have asked we are getting the result as 16 so uh, let's first understand how this particular graph flows then we will directly uh, dive into the code let me first uh, show you how this particular graph looks like so basically whenever in land graph so let me start with land graph okay so in this land graph, whenever we uh, build any graph, we start with the start state. So basically, this is the start state. Now, in our case, this in, uh, from the start state, we will go to your, our chatbot section, which is nothing but our LLM. So in this LLM case, we are using chat group. Now, the next thing what we have is if any question coming, if it is relate, uh, related to our tool so as i told uh, we are using two tools right so this is the tools node so whenever any question is related to tool it will be going to go to your tool section and from this tool you will get the response and finally it will be going to end in the end node so for getting a good picture of this particular thing let me explain you with an example let's suppose user come and say hi in the chat as we did in the example now flow start it will go to your llm now hi is not ever related to our two tools as one tool we have is wikipedia And another we have is Python Rappel. Okay, so as you know, hi is not related to this two tool. So in this particular case, it will be directly go and and using LLM, it will go into give to response based upon whatever uh, prompt we will have in our code. Now, uh, what if we have uh, some other input, just for example, uh, 2 cross 3. So in this particular case, same flow, it will go to our LLM. Now, this time, if you see, we have two tools. So based upon the input, what we are giving, whatever will be our relevant tool, it will go in that particular section. It will choose that particular tool and apply whatever operations is needed with respect to that tool and this will this tool will give you the result and give it to your LLM and finally you will get a response using that particular tool result and LLM response so this is our overall flow of our land graph now let's see what is the code look like with importing the required libraries so these all libraries we will be going to use let me explain you the important ones first what are all this okay uh, first we are using fast api for creating our api next uh, 
uh, we have uh, load.env for uh, loading our environment variable as we for LLM we are using group API key okay the next thing what we have is this type of uh, type dict this is used for creating the state using uh, uh, python library next we have group as i told then we have two main things the first one is uh, Wiki wikipedia tool and the second is second one is python repl tool uh, next uh, these all things are used for uh, creating our graph so let's go move forward and see what we have next. The next step we have to do is nothing but uh, load our environment variables like this. So you can create a .env file and in that .env file create a group API key variable and store your group API key. That after this particular step we have to initialize the fast api app and enable the cross basically cross is nothing but uh, uh, whenever you will be going to deploy your uh, application in production the front end will be not restricted due to the domain for that reason we are adding the middleware here uh, cross middleware uh, apart from that if you are running in your local uh, that will be not an issue now the main part comes here uh, to create a input schema like this is nothing but our state okay so basically uh, whatever uh, we are going to send to our graph right it must take some inputs so in our case we are taking two inputs the first one is message and the second one is session id okay now as we mentioned we have two particular tools which we will be going to use the first one we are using wiki tool which is nothing but our wikipedia tool which will be going to fetch the information from the wikipedia and the next tool is nothing but python rpl repl tool okay so these are the two tools what we have the next thing important the brain of our system is llm as we as i told uh, we have uh, using a uh, chat group so uh, here uh, we are loading our api key and i am using this particular model you can go with any model which you are uh, willing to use go to your uh, group website there uh, they have listed uh, too many they have listed so many uh, different tools different models okay next thing uh, is next the next step is to bind the tools as we are using two tools wiki tool and python tool so i am simply binding the tools this is nothing but uh, it will be going to bind your two tools with your llm so whenever the input come llm should know uh, which tool it uh, have to go whether to go to wiki or repl tool okay the next thing is our graph state okay so this is our state format if you see so we are creating the messages and here uh, is the important thing which you know to uh, uh, you need to understand here is add message basically it is a router router means is nothing but whenever a new message is going to come right it will be going to be added in in the form of list list what does i mean that mean by this is nothing but uh, let me explain you that just for example for the first time you came and you hit it high so basically this is nothing but your response so along with this uh, ai will generate some response just 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 for example how are you okay so, so this particular info will be stored here in this particular list so whenever the new next response uh, uh, new input will come let's suppose to cross three you will be going to ask it's generate a six as a response okay so this will be added in this particular list so basically this list will be going to contain all your uh, information or you can say the conversation what you are doing in this particular graph okay so this is what we have if suppose you will not do this particular thing what will happen it will not uh, store your conversation and also you will not able to get the 
history uh, things in using this particular graph okay now uh, let's see how we will how we can create a graph okay using a lang graph so basically uh, first uh, we will be going to create the state we will be going to create the state then what we will do we will be going to create the nodes so basically if i tell you the first thing is start state as we understood uh, okay so we have a start state which is this this part next we have a chatbot section okay so chatbot section is nothing but our llm you can say as our in example i told right so this is our llm okay you can say llm so that's the reason if you see i am invoking my llm with the state message state message is nothing but whatever input user giving right it will store that user input okay so next we are creating a node that is our nothing but tool node so as i we as we already discussed we have tools node so these tools nodes have two particular tools okay internally it will be there okay as we discussed we have a wikipedia tool and we have python api tool okay and finally we are connecting this edges so how it will be going to connect let me show you that also okay nodes we have created uh, this is one node and uh, this is one node okay so if i box it like this okay so this is one node what we have and this is one node we have okay now if i tell you about the edges so from start to chatbot there is one edge so it will go like this then chatbot to tools condition we have one node you can see the conditional edge will be there so basically here we have a conditional edge okay so conditional edge is what if we have nothing and if you want to go here okay if anything uh, we want to go here it will return back you to the llm okay if not required it will end here end in this particular node like this if you see chatbot will go to the end and tools and chatbot will have one edge connection like this and we have a tools condition also so this is nothing but your conditional edge point okay so this is the flow how you will be going to build using gland graph next uh, we have uh, we can save our uh, uh, graph or if you want to see how it look like so this is what we have discussed that chatbot tools it will have the conditional edge here either it will go to end or tools. okay now once this is done what we have to do we have to create our end point okay so as i told uh, we are using the uh, fast api for this thing so obviously it will be a post request because we are uh, sending some input to our api so the first thing is chat request as we know in chat request we have to see, uh, send the message so it will be going to send the message and we have the prompt this prompt is nothing but it is telling our uh, llm about this particular work what we need to do so basically it is having a uh, wikipedia and python repl and how the output look likes okay now we are going uh, we have to stream the lang graph event so basically we are running it with our system prompt and the user question okay so once this particular thing is done we are printing the response so basically this pretty print will help us to show the result how the flow is going in the back end okay i will show you uh, after running it how it look likes then uh, what we are doing uh, we are creating a get request 
at the initial uh, initial url it will be going to load our html page so let me run this particular code okay so my code is already running let me stop it uh, so first of all you can create a virtual environment for this particular thing and install all the required libraries okay so i will be going all the code which will be in the description which you can get and check out in your system so let me run this particular code so once you run this particular code it will be running in your local uh, url like this if you click on it it will be redirect and it uh, the ui whatever ui we have it will be going to show something like this okay so let me go and hit hi okay so it will go in the back end and whatever flow we have discussed it will be going to flow in this particular case uh, in this particular case it will go to the chatbot and directly go to the end because we are not using any tools in this input now uh, the pretty uh, thing uh, pretty print uh, what i was saying if you see in the output so the first we are giving the human message hi then what we are uh, then the ai is replying here directly okay now what if i ask some question related to back something like this now in this case if you notice we will be having a human message for sure okay human message we have what we have asked okay then we have a system message okay now uh, in the ai message if you see okay we are calling the tool and which tool it is calling the python a repeal tool because it is related to that particular query that's the reason in the ei message we are getting this tool call and finally what we are doing with the help of that particular tool the tool message we are getting the response as 80 and finally it will be going to print the ei message as 80 okay so this is the flow human message then ei message the tool will going to get back to the yeah uh, get back to that llm and using that tool result it will be going to generate the result so let me show you one more example with this let's suppose what is land graph let's see what we are getting here so so it's telling uh, okay land graph we are not getting any uh, relevant uh, result but still uh, let's see how it went through okay if you see human message we are giving what is land graph then it returned the tools it went to the wikipedia tool okay and using whatever we are getting from the wikipedia api okay that is going again back to our ai message and finally using that thing we are generating our result so this is all about this particular uh, video uh i hope you understand the flow uh, basic uh, flow of this particular project how multi-agent uh, chatbots are built using Langraph. if you are new to my channel uh please do subscribe to my channel okay this is my channel uh which will be a big support for me to create such more content and if you are uh, willing to read my blogs too you can also go to my uh blog medium blog page and you can also connect with connect with me in my linkedin page thank you for uh, watching this particular video